narcissists are cowards. Yes, that is the true definition of a narcissist. To understand the true definition of a narcissist, you must understand the true definition of the word coward through the lenses of the word of God. In the Bible, a coward is somebody who rejects the truth, even when it's presented to them. And this is a perfect example of a narcissist, right? They get very angry when you tell them the truth, and especially if you present the truth in front of them. This is where they start to rage and they get the little cognitive dissonance. And they are cowards. This is the true definition. The worldly definition now of a coward is somebody who's afraid of something dangerous, right? Mike Tyson, he said that he learned from his trainer, Castel Amaro, that a coward and a hero, they both feel the same. They're both afraid, right? But it's what the coward does, and what, it's what the coward doesn't do, and what the hero does. Does make the difference. That makes the hero become a hero is what he does, and the coward become a coward what he doesn't do, right? And yes, that is true in a worldly definition, right? It fits very good in the worldly definition of the word coward. But in the Bible, it's even better described because a coward is somebody who rejects the truth, right? And the narcissist, they can never. They can never admit when they're wrong. They always get angry at the truth, even when it's presented to them. It's very important to notice. Other people, they rejoice in the truth, right? You rejoice in the truth if you have a good spirit. Even if somebody is better than you, and you know it's the truth, you still rejoice in it because it gives inspiration. It's like, wow, somebody does something I don't do. I learned something from this person or whatever, it's an inspiration, right? The narcissists, they can never take critique. They can never learn. You can never learn a narcissist nothing. Even if you learn a narcissist something, they will take the credit and say, yeah, it was me. I learned him what he learned me, right? This is what they say. Self-projection and all this. And a narcissist, they can't even understand what a narcissist is. They are so... In the little narcissist's brain... They, they can't even see that they are the narcissist, right? It's like a narcissist is somebody who's, it's like you, you are a narcissist. Oh, they, they, they can say it, they can define it. It's like, oh, you, you don't like me, you're a narcissist. It's like, what are you talking about, you know? It's like these Pharisees, Christian Pharisees. They are narcissists of all these preachers, the churches, and they walk around with the, church, with the cross on the neck and they go to church on Sunday and they stop masturbating and watching corn and Jesus changed the life. Yeah, they all narcissists. Yes. They're all narcissists. And it's easy to spot them. I'm going to tell you how to spot them. You can spot them by... They're very proud. Very, very proud. Yes. I, I, I. Me, me, me. My ministry saved all those people. We thank you, God, that we are not like these people. We thank you, God, for blessing this ministry. These are the narcissistic preachers, right? A righteous man, he says, Forgive me, Father. I am a filthy sinner. I am not worthy. I am not even worthy to have this life as a human. That's a righteous. He's, he's sanctified and justified in the eyes of God, right? But the other guy is not. And that, that is a biblical fact. And uh, yes, these guys, they're exposing themselves. It's like, it's, it's wonderful. They think they're winning. They're so delusional. They're like, I'm winning. Ah, Jesus. Jesus is going to change your life today. Just come and pay money to me. And we are so blessed. We are so blessed. It's like they are the devils. You can see they're the devils. They think uh, worldly. Worldly material and worldly gains is what gonna is what is blessings, right? They they have a worldly understanding. 
They think uh, the church is blessed when they have many wealthy people coming there. No, you're just a loved, beloved Pharisee. You are a Pharisee. All you guys who have this building and church and online churches and 300,000 subscribers. I mean, you are all Pharisees. You are all liars. Yes, this is the ones we are warned about, right? They are perfect on the outside. They are perfect. They speak very well. They never cuss. They never. They even repented of the sins when Jesus changed them. They don't sin no more since they were born, right? It's like, what are you talking about? I gave my life to Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus. Why are you still here? <laughs> How are you still here? You know what I'm saying? It's like they give you a false gospel. They point to the works. It's not enough to believe in Jesus. No. Even though that's the only requirement. It's those who believe. It's going to be sanctified, justified. Right? That's why it's few that really find it. It's very, very few truly find the real church. Right? People are going to say, show me the signs. Show me this. Show me that. How can I see? It's within. The kingdom of heaven is within. It's here that everything happens. It's here the truth is. It's here everything the Holy Spirit reveals. Right? These people, they can't even tell you the difference between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They'd be like, there was a guy who asked St. Nevis yesterday, can you explain the Holy Spirit and uh, the, the, the Godhead and all this? And he was like, yeah, yeah, the Son is the Father, and the Father is the Holy Spirit, and Yahushua, he is, Jesus is Yahushua, Hamashiach. And he even brings more names and it just makes it more confusing. No, you can't explain it, right? Because you're a Pharisee. This has been given to you. You don't have the eyes to see. You have a worldly understanding, yes. But it's the tr you have never seen the truth. It's not been revealed to you. Otherwise, you would have known. That is three revelations, right? He revealed himself as the Father. People were like, why do you reveal himself as the Father? Then he revealed himself as the Son by salvation. And now he reveals them through, through us in the Holy Spirit, the people, right? And they are God. It's God. One God. One true, the only one true light, the one and only true God. The true living God. One and only. Three persons. Three revelations. But one same God. The same essence. Same being. Same God. It's very easy to understand, right? No need to complicate it. And the, but they can't explain it, right? That that is the, the mystery. Even these scholars, these all of it, they know everything and all these. But they twist the verses. It's like you ask these people, like, uh, show me a verse in the Bible that, that says uh, that talks about the sun. In the sky, the, the light in the sky, right? The sun in the sky, the light. What is, and they'd be like, John 3, 16, Jesus Christ died for us. And you must only believe in Jesus. And they're like, what are you talking about, St. ABS? You little Pharisee, you know what I'm saying? It's like, stop calling yourself a preacher. You know what I'm saying? And you look into these people, their testimony, they have no testimony. They just have lies and lies. And he did witchcraft, and then he was this, and then he was a little wizard, and then he was a rapper. And, then he was a boxer, and you just see, oh, oh, wow, you're just a child. You're just a lying child who lies, who get, earns money through giving false prophecies and all this, right? That's what they do, these Pharisees, narcissists, and they can admit, oh, yeah, you gave a false prophecy, right? It didn't come true. No, that can pass. It did came pass in your ass, right? Liar, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we, you're going down. God is going to take you down. You could go and cry to YouTube and say Navius is trying to persecute me with the law. He's running, he's calling police, everything. YouTube, everything. He's writing letters, lawyers, everything. Yes, I got the documents to prove it. You know what I'm saying? But you Pharisees don't even want to look at it anyways. Even if I show you, even if I present the truth, right? 
the narcissists get angry. Why? Because they are dumb, demonic, possessed bitches, cowards. Right? That's what they are. Cowards. And the Most High God doesn't rock with no coward liar. You know what I'm saying? He rocks with sinners. Yes. Yes. That's why I said it's like, oh, I'm, look at these people. They're wolves. They take trucks. They take trucks. Jesus, he hung out with the drugs and drug dealers and the pimps and the prostitutes. Yeah. That's why they didn't like him. The Pharisees were putting the figure, look, he's eating with the prostitutes. He can impossibly be the Messiah. He's not righteous like us. You know what I'm saying? F these guys, F these Pharisees, you're going to burn in hell for f false prophecies you'll give them. And the sinner, who admits he's a sinner, and said, yes, I'm a sinner, but I believe in trust in Jesus Christ. He's going to be safe. That is the truth. That is the gospel. That's why it's the good news. Hey. It's the good news. It's very positive news. Wow, well, we just have to believe? Yes. We don't have to walk and be self-righteous and do all these works and, you know, be narcissists and put ourselves on a pedestal and try to be like Jesus. I am like Jesus. No, you're not. You're not like Jesus. You are like Judas. That's why you go and persecute people when they criticize you. That's why you throw people out of your church when they don't agree about your perverted interpretations of the scriptures, right? Because you're pervert. They are perverted, these preachers. They're like, if you take pleasure in your sin, then you're not saved. If you have pleasure in having an orgasm, then you're not saved. If you have sex willingly, um, Sinned, then you're gonna go to hell. Well, it's like they, they are lost, they are done, reprobates, perverts. They don't understand the mystery of the verses, they don't understand the mystery of the gospel. The true gospel has not been given to them to preach. Amen. That's all you must do. Believe in Jesus Christ and you'll be saved, right? Ask for him to guide you. Don't see guidance through people. See guidance through Christ. Through Jesus Christ alone. And he shall guide you. Show you the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Help a true man of God come up. You know what I'm saying? Right. F these Pharisees. F these narcissists. They're false teachers. They're false prophets. They've never experienced the struggle, you know what I'm saying? They steal the struggle from the real chosen ones. They are jealous. They're even jealous on the struggle you have. Even though they had a good life, they had everything served for them. And easy. And... But no, they are cursed. They are a curse. That's why they can't see their own mistakes. They can admit, yes, I'm a sinner. Yes, I'm wrong. I don't know everything. No. And they're like, if, ever, if anybody goes against me, then you are, uh, you're from Satan. <laughs> what are you talking about? The earth is a ball. It's, it's in the Bible. It's a ball. No, it doesn't say it's a ball. Like, what are you talking about? They just lie. They make up. They try to fit in their understanding. They try to make it match with the scripture, but it's just like, no, it's not going, it's not matching. The Bible say that there is a stationary and flat, and that the sun is moving in the sky. Right? They're just liars, and they get so angry when we discover that they're lying, right? Because they're busters, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're gonna rage in hell too like ah! like why are you mad like you deserve it you know what i'm saying you're busted